guys, so we are back on the trail again. This is uh, Otter Creek, and I am starting at the Dry Fork Trailhead. I'm trying out some new gear and some new camera equipment today too. So I have a backpack that I made. I made a camera pack. And I have made a new pillow that I'm looking forward to using. And I uh, also brought an old camera. It's about 15 years old. It is a camera that I had back in 2004, 2005. It's an old Olympus camera, DSLR. So I'm looking forward to see what I can kind of capture with that. Right now it's about 7.30 at night. It started kind of late, so it's gonna get dark pretty quick. So I gotta find a place to camp. Here we go. not a fan of this bridge. <laughs> he heights. So this little suspension bridge is not fun. about a mile and I'm sweating profusely so I'm only gonna go about two miles total I'm gonna try to find a place to camp for the night and start fresh in the morning but uh, pretty excited never been here before should be fun so I'm only about a mile three quarters in I think I found my campsite for the night I'm not gonna go much further it's almost eight o'clock I'm not a big fan of hiking in the dark, so, so we're going to set up camp. Alright guys, so I am all set up in my tent. I'm actually just going to crawl in and watch a few episodes of Cheers. It's been my thing this year. I'm almost finished with season three of Cheers. That's a show from the 80s. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll watch after that, but... I'm gonna go to bed probably around 9, 30, 10. Get up tomorrow morning, do it all over again. Hey guys, good morning. It is day two, eight o'clock in the morning. Let's find some pictures. So far about two miles today and about a mile and a half yesterday, roughly. 
and the spider webs are in full force. I must have already knocked down about 8,000. I need to, you know, buddy Preston to come out here. He's a little taller than me. He needs to walk in front, knock these things down. Okay guys, so a big part of why I take these backpacking trips is so I can take some photographs. And I always like to take different cameras on different trips. And in this case, I have a 15-year-old camera. I actually owned this camera back in 2005. The camera came out in 2004. Now sadly, this is not the same camera. I did since sell that camera, but I went back and I looked on eBay about a year ago, six months to a year ago, and I found this camera for about $80. Um, and I think I still actually overpaid at $80, but it was in really good shape, so I picked it up. And it did come with this old Sigma lens that works just fine, it seems like. It is only an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, the back screen is pretty atrocious. You can barely see what's happening back here. But it does function just fine. The metering system seems to be a little bit off, um, but I, I won't really know until I get back. The dynamic range is probably pretty pretty gross, uh, if that. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. Uh, but I enjoy, enjoy using it. This is pretty crazy for its time where it had instead of the prism mounted on top for the viewfinder this is things actually mounted sideways which gives it a lower profile pretty unique for its time I don't think there was any other DSLR that actually took that approach where everything was mounted kind of sideways but there's a pretty small compact light camera for its time I switched to digital back in 2004 so when this camera came out in 2005 2004 2005 something like that I snatched it up in a hurry and I remember loving this camera when it came out uh, but by today's standards uh, it's not that great, so we'll see how it performs. I've already taken a few photos. I'm having fun with it anyway. We'll see how it goes. And I made this bag, by the way. How do you like that? It's a roll top camera bag, front pack. You can store whatever you want in there, but I got some camera gear in there. I'm digging it. Can't go any further. Can't go down. I can't cross. So I am stuck on the side of this hill. The side of the hill is falling away. I don't know how to get across. Ugh. I had to fight to get this far. The trail. Pretty much we're out the side of this hillside along the, the creek here. It was pretty steep and it got completely overgrown where you couldn't even see the trail anymore. And then the is a, a landslide and a bunch of trees had fallen down and, and I don't know how you're gonna even pass it without going way back to where I'm at now and hiking up around off the trail. We're gonna scout it out. We're gonna try a different trail, try to save this trip, try to get around that little landslide. See what happens. Okay, so trip isn't really going according to plan. I um, so far I've walked off the trail twice. This last time I went off pretty far, only to turn back and find out I wasn't even on the trail to begin with. Uh, so I found another side trail. Looked like it was going to loop around, and it probably does, but. It's taking me pretty far off the map that I have. So I'm kind of stuck. I've been going really slow because of all the overgrown vegetation everywhere. And I mean, I'm used to taking a slower pace because of taking pictures, but I'm going slower than normal. So I'm supposed to do 20 miles total. And at the pace I'm going, 
I am not going to make it. And according to all the information I have, the trail only gets worse as far as being overgrown. It's just going to keep getting harder and harder and harder. Not that that's a problem, but it's going to be slow. And I won't be able to actually finish my 20 miles by tomorrow afternoon. So I have officially turned back, but I still wasn't sure I was going to try to find some side trails and do something different, but after looking at the map, and it just doesn't make any sense. So basically, I'm hiking back towards the car, which is still a good five miles away, but it's just so overgrown, you just can't keep your pace up if you're fighting vegetation, which isn't bad right here, so it's kind of at the point of no return. Either I push forward and miss my my goal my end time goal or I turn back so I turn back so question you guys have you ever had to bail on a backpacking trip and why make me feel better I'm pretty bummed right now because now this means I have to come back I think I may come back and try this in the winter when it's not so overgrown right here is actually pretty nice it's all like this, I'd be flying. So I just did some math. And from where I camped last night, because I got in kind of late, I only hiked in about a mile and a half last night, made camp, and then today, it took me five hours to go four miles. Now that's four trail miles. I got lost a couple times. I had to do some exploring, taking some photographs. But it took me five hours to do four miles. And mostly because of the uh, all the vegetation that has grown up over the last couple of miles. Can you tell I'm kind of disappointed? I'm just about back to the car. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below and I'll absolutely answer as best that I can. Uh, according to the map, I did about 12 miles. And according to my GPS, I did about 15 miles with all the extra walking around that I did with the camera and with getting lost, of course. Uh, but thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.